the first point that we're going to look at is the people who are in Israel right now that call themselves the seed of Abraham, that, that say that the land belongs unto them because God made this promise unto Abraham and it's a covenant that belongs unto them, is completely refuted in the New Testament. When Jesus Christ was even on this earth, he, gives, he basically confirms exactly what the Apostle Paul is writing in Galatians chapter 3. Look at verse number 39 of John chapter 8. The Bible reads, they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. So the Jews of the day, the Pharisees of the day, when they're, when they're having this discourse with Jesus Christ, when they're arguing with Jesus, he, they say, well, you know what? Abraham's our father. And they're trusting in the fact that they're Abraham's seed because they know that God made this promise unto Abraham. So this is where their faith is. Their faith is in their flesh. Their faith is in the fact that they're Jews. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. So right off the bat, Jesus is calling them out and basically saying, You're not Abraham's children. God, if Jesus is saying you're not considered to be Abraham's children, then guess what? God's not considering you to be Abraham's children. If ye were Abraham's children, you'd do the works of Abraham, but now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. He said, that's not who Abraham was. Verse 41, ye do the deeds of your father. He just got done saying that they're not children of Abraham. And then he says, you know what? You do the deeds of the works of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, if God were your father, ye would love me. So there's, now they're changing it from Abraham to God. Well, no, we're children of God. You know, I mean, we're children of Abraham. We're children of God. Jesus said, if God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. He said, you don't understand a word of what I'm saying right now. And he's going to explain the reason why. Because they're not children of, of God. They're not children of Abraham. He says, you are of your father, the devil. So you're children of the devil. That's who you are. The same people that reject Christ, that claim lineage to Abraham, that claim to be children of the covenant and children of the promise, and no, this promise belongs to us. God promised us this land. Jesus Christ himself is saying, you're of the devil. You're not children of Abraham. You're not children of God. You're children of the devil. So if Jesus is telling these people that they're children of the devil, that they're not children of Abraham, that they're not children of God, what right or inheritance do they have in Abraham? What right can they possibly have? He says, you are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father will, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. My question is for the people today that want to say that the Christ rejecting Jews of today that are in the Middle East, that are claiming a right to the land there, saying that God promised that land to their fathers, to, to Abraham, and made a covenant, and made an everlasting covenant. Would you be willing to support these Jews of Jesus' day, these Pharisees, that Jesus says they're children of the devil. Would you say, if you were around at that time, would you say, no, no, Jesus, you're wrong. They actually do belong to own this land and this is their inheritance. When Jesus just got done saying that they're of the devil and they're not children of Abraham. If you, would, if you wouldn't have the guts to stand up to Jesus and tell him he's wrong about that, then what makes you think that the Jews of today that still reject Jesus Christ that have the same exact attitude that the Pharisees had regarding Jesus Christ. They have disdain for Jesus Christ. They want to have nothing to do with him. They hate Jesus Christ. They're waiting for another Messiah that's not Christ. They're anti-Christ. But you're going to say, well, their fathers didn't have claim to the land, but these guys do. That's inconsistent. And if you're going to say they have a claim to the land, what do you do about what Jesus said to the Pharisees then? When he literally said, you're not children of Abraham. 